I'm inside Canva in a project here, and what I want to do is take this image, and I want a nice bright glow around this goofy looking fella here. So, let's take our image, edit photo. First thing we want to do is get rid of the background, so one click on background remover, and we're in good shape. Alright, now we're going to take this and we want to duplicate this image, we want a copy of it. So we can either do Control D on a Windows machine on the keyboard, or we can do right click of the mouse and duplicate, and now we've got two. I'm going to take this one that's on the front, or the one that's on top I should say, move him over to the side a little bit, and then I'm going to click over here in this bounding box so that I can grab the one that is in the back. We've still got the edit photo window up, which is exactly where we want to be. So we're going to come in here and click adjust. And what we want to do is we want to whitewash this thing. We want to take out all the details and all the different colors and whatnot. So we're going to turn the brightness way up. We'll leave the contrast alone, but highlights are going way up. We're going to take shadows all the way up. We're going to take white and turn that all the way up. Blacks, we're going to pull all the way down to minus 100. We don't have to do anything in the color right here. If we absolutely wanted a crisp white, we could pull those down. We could pull the vibrance and the saturation down, but it's really not necessary. But I think I prefer keeping those at zero, so I'm just going to move them back up. There we go. And now we also want to make this background, this whitewashed background copy, a little bit bigger. So let's just grab our corner here and drag it up just a little bit. Then we will click on the bounding box over here to get the front full color image. And we'll move that over. And we have a little bit of an outline. If we want to make that bigger, we can grab it and do that. I'm going to have a hard time grabbing the one behind it because it's so close to the same size. If I get way out to the corner, I can get it. But if you ever get stuck with that in Canva, you can click Position. It'll usually open up under this Arrange tab. Just switch over to layers, and that'll make it easier for you to grab exactly what you're trying to grab, the layer you want, rather than one that's on top. You can also temporarily move a layer just by dragging it to the top. And we'll do that, and then we'll drag this out just a hair more, and then we'll click on the full color image in the layers, drag it up top, and now it is in the front. And there we go, we have a nice little white outline. One thing here, since this isn't a built-in stroke or outline feature, and we're using a workaround. If I pull this all the way up in here where it's a really nice outline around the head, you notice I lose it around the shoulders. So there's a couple things that I can do there. I can either bring that back down, and so it's a little bit offset, but I do get an outline everywhere. Or I can also, and this works if I don't want a really crisp background, if I don't want that outline to be super sharp, I can just click on that layer, Go to this bounding box, click on it, and we're going to go back to Edit Photo, come down to Blur. And unfortunately, you don't see the layers when you're in here blurring, so you can't see exactly how it's going to look with the full color image over top, but that's okay. We're going to say Whole Image. We're going to take the intensity of this up. I'm going to take it to about 50. And then we'll click the back arrow on Blur, and that looks pretty good. I can probably even make that a little bit bigger if I want. It looks like it's starting to lose down here on the bottom of this earlobe. It's disappearing. So if I make it bigger, I'm going to have to make a decision here of where exactly I want it. Now that's not too bad. Pretty good with that. And of course you can do more blur if you want. You go back to this blur effect, drag that over to 100 back. Now we have a much softer glowing outline going on, so I'm glowing like the angel that I obviously am. If you're concerned about this white down here, where it's sort of, uh, since it's bigger than the full color version, the, the glowing outline is sticking out on the bottom, you have a couple of options. One is that you can just grab it, and what I would do is I'll click my left mouse button, I'll drag over both of these so that I make sure I'm selecting both the foreground image and the background glow, and drag it down because I would probably place this down along the edge anyway. So that works fine and makes it go away. If I have something like this where the left side sort of chops off, I would probably look at either positioning this over in the corner to make it work, or I would look at some other kind of object. What could I put down here alongside it? So I would probably just grab some kind of graphic that makes sense with my design that's going to overlap that just a hair and make that weird edge go away. 
I'm going to make it easy for this and I'm just going to drag him over to the edge and drop it down where I want it to be. Now, if you have a problem with Canva where you're trying to move something around and it seems to be um, jagged movements, it's trying to snap to grids and guides and other things that are on the on the page. So if you just left clicked on whatever you're trying to move and then hold your control on your keyboard, I imagine it's command on Mac, but I don't speak Mac, so I don't know. Hold down on control and then you'll have much finer precision movement so you can get things exactly where you want them to be. So I'm just going to put him down here. There we go. Now, if I wanted this background to be um, instead of white, say I wanted to sort of tie into this yellow up here. I can click on my background layer, edit photo, then I'm going to go back to this adjustment and I'm going to look at this temperature and tint. And so I'm going to start here with the temperature. And if you notice over to the left is more blue and over to the right looks more like a yellow gold orange. So let's just start dragging that over. There we go. And these are going to be subtle. This isn't going to pop right out at you. And then the tint here, it looks like it's going pinky if I go to the right and it's going yellowy if I go to the left. So let's drag to the left here. And that has certainly made that a little bit more yellow. If you don't remember, that's what zero looked like. And we're going to take it this direction, maybe not all the way up. And then we're going to take the tint this direction. If we want more color action here, we can come down to the color edit. And this is telling us the colors that are in this picture, this image, and we can change them. Now, it won't completely change them, but it will adjust them enough to make a difference. So I can grab this maroon color here and I can drag this to the right until I get to a yellow that I'm looking for. I don't want to get into the greens, but I also don't want to be back in orange either. So I think I'll look right about there and then I can drag the saturation up a bit and we're getting a little more yellow and I can do the same thing with the other colors. So I'll just find where yellow is and you can tell when you're in the yellow zone because you'll see the saturation bar will change to show you that you're working with yellows now. So we'll drag that one up a bit. I'll do the same thing here. Get this into the yellow and bring that up. Oh, that got me a little green. Or was it the last one? I think the last one got me the green. So let's pull that down a little bit. Yeah, that was the one. Don't want to go quite there. Right about there will work. And this one, drag this over into yellow and pull that up a little bit. And now we have our outline looking a little bit more yellow. You could play with that different ways and whatnot and make it whatever you wanted it to be. But I think we've looked at this ugly dude long enough. That's it. Simple as can be. I hope you found this helpful and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.